right now, I mean, my focus has been and continues to be uh, how the brains of exceptional individuals operate. And when I mean exceptional, or when I say exceptional, I actually am referring to individuals who are extremely able, like they're math talented or they're gifted beyond, you know, perfect scores on the GRE math exam. So they're either exceptional in the sense that they're extremely able or in some way, shape or form, they're disabled. And the idea is to see if you can discover what brain processes are associated with, those, with each end of that ability spectrum. So now I'm focused on, you know, math giftedness, like individuals from Beautiful Mind, you know, the movie, the Nash movie. Or I'm very interested in autistic kids and their capabilities or lack of capabilities, particularly in autistic kids with regard to attention. I think this is going to be a very, very big thing for Texas Tech. I mean, this is a world-class facility. We have a top-end magnet from the top-end top end uh, manufacturer. Its capabilities are, are basically limitless in many ways. What I hope to see, and I think we will, is that there are going to be a core or cluster of faculty that are going to be attracted to this institute, that are going to be of national and international visibility. And they're all going to want to be part of this emerging opportunity to put together a terrific neuroimaging institute that's going to have all sorts of interests, you know, all sorts of funded work going with it. The trick is to make people aware that it's here and that the opportunity is available and just persuade them that you need to get on board with this because we're going to go somewhere. I've taught several types of courses at different levels but most of them have to do with language and or brain in some way, shape, or form. So for example, I offer a graduate seminar. Uh, it's entitled Brain Cognition and Development, in which you study principles of brain and brain imaging, and you study higher order cognitive processes that are associated with brain function, and you have a developmental component that's associated with them. So you study them from early days to elderly days, in a way and see how brain cognition and the developmental timetable interact with one another. Not every task has equal importance. So you need to be able to prioritize. You have to be able to recognize that some things are really going to be high investment but high return for that investment and others, while important at some level, are not going to be of the same bang for buck kind of unit. And typically, you'll know what those are. You'll know what those are as you get a little bit more experience. This is not to say you schlup off the other times of things, but you just kind of structure your zero sum time into a manner that sort of produces the most bang for buck. And that just comes with experience. You just have to hang in there and keep doing it a while, and suddenly it comes to you.